You! Just what was in that swill you sold me? Ah, oh, my good sir. Don't you look to be in a fit of pique? But what does it have to do with Lionel? Don't play coy with me! That was no secret elixir you sold me. An elderly nobleman bought the entire batch, and all he got for his troubles was a whole day atop his chamber pot! Ah, perhaps the tonic's invigorating effects were too potent for a man of such venerable age. While Lionel is sure his digestive system has been duly cleansed, methinks a smaller dosage should suffice next time. Digestive system? Dosage? You said that medicine granted eternal life. Lionel recalls saying nothing of the sort. We did converse about rumors of such an elixir existing prior to the transaction, but that was all. If you harbor any doubts, pray consult the bill of sale. Rest assured that any misunderstanding stems from your own negligence. For all the good it'll do me now, I might as well wipe my ass with it. My friend, the merchant's seal is his word. Consider this a lesson to read the fine print more carefully in the future. You two-faced charlatan! You'll pay for this! Two-faced? Has your own coin purse not grown mysteriously fat, despite the heavy taxes on salt? I dare say more so than market prices would conceivably allow. One wonders, what is the punishment in Hyzant for those who do business outside the purview of the state? You... You can't threaten me! I'll gut you like a fish! Seems you needed protection after all. S -s -s Shut up! Lionel had the matter well under control. Uh, did you kill him? He's just unconscious. Killing him would only attract unwanted attention. Nevertheless, he gave Lionel quite a fright. That knock on his head couldn't have been good for the fool's health. The only fool here is you. Using the name of House Wolfort to swindle others? How long did you think this charade would last? I'll give you one chance to stop, or else you'll end up next to him in the dirt. Hm. Lionel will have you know he has friends in high places. Yes, very high places. So high, in fact, that yes, Lionel now sees the error of his ways. His thinking so far has been positively unambitious. It is Lionel who holds the purse strings of House Walford, and it is he who must see to it that said purse is overflowing with riches. He has been a fool. Only a fool would squander his talents with such petty deceits. But Lionel does not lose heart easily. No, he shall redouble his efforts. For such is his burden, the burden of a loyal servant tasked with guiding his house to boundless fortune. Ha <laughs> ha! Let us begin our new work post haste. That took a turn for the unexpected. What am I supposed to do with him? Knock him senseless and drag him back to the castle? It may come to that. Sorry to start it off with such a funny scene, but Lionel had to give me a laugh today, okay? He's a great character and some great comedy always comes from his stories. Hey guys, it's Skymer here, and welcome back to another episode of Triangle Strategy. In the last episode, we heard word from pretty much everybody. Um, Gusadolf, Edor, and the rest of the Stanley Seven, Roland, Frederica, and Benedict, about their takes on the future of Norzelia's fate. Um, or, uh, the, yeah, the future of Norzelia's fate and who 
or uh, or which nations will control this land. Um, and today we make this three-way decision on which path that I believe would be our strongest decision and which one will mean the most to me in the end. I've been playing a lot of this game with my heart and I hope to keep it that way, but unfortunately sometimes things occur and situations change. So we will see what this game has lying in wait. Once again, House Wolf Fort stands before three diverging paths. The time has come to lay their convictions bare before the scales and make their greatest decision yet. Uh, yeah, sure. You are certain Hyzan's army marches for the Grand Norzellian mines? There is no doubt. They've heard word of the crystals. It was only a matter of time. We knew this. Esfrost's army gathers at Twinsgate as well. War's breaking out over this thing, and we've got to be ready. How will Glenbrook respond, King Roland? There's no need to prepare for war. I have decided that we will surrender the salt crystals to the holy state of Hyzant. What? Furthermore, I hereby declare that the kingdom of Glenbrook and its people shall submit to the goddess and her teachings. There is no way to bring happiness to all Norzelia with the salt crystals. Which is why I have chosen a path that will allow the greatest number of people to live in equality and harmony. How could you? Do you not see that Hyzant's dominion over Norzelia's salt is why we are in conflict already? Is the suffering of the Rizal not proof enough that the goddess's vaunted equality is a lie? She speaks the truth, my king. Handing over the salt crystals is tantamount to giving Hyzant's goddess free reign of Norzelia. Will you so readily surrender the realm to the Hierophant? I acknowledge the abdication of my kingdom and kingship alike. A small price to pay in my eyes. In exchange for the security and prosperity of the many. And the sacrifice of the Roselle. Is that a small price to you? It is. How could you say such a thing to my face? I for one oppose. I would prefer to ally with Esfrost and strike back at Hyzant. The salt deposits within the mines give us the leverage we need to convince Gustadolf to join us. Ally with Esfrost? You dare suggest we ally with the man who murdered my father? I see no reason why we should not. You proposed abdicating the throne for the sake of the kingdom and its people. So you should have no trouble putting aside your own feelings and judging this matter dispassionately. I cannot believe my own ears. I will not have you lecture me on feelings when it is not your father he murdered. None of you can see beyond your own grievances. It's no wonder my people have suffered for generations. We're told to believe in the goddess, while our own lives are thrown away to make a few more grains of your precious salt. And now, even with proof that the goddess is a lie, you would watch us dig our own graves for your comfort. Lady Frederica, please. We shall speak of the Roselle in due time. No, I've heard that before. Your due time is never, and I will not have you cast us aside for another three decades or more. All else is in disarray. If Hyzant seizes the Salt Crystals, we forfeit the best opportunity in decades to free my people. We know the truth. We must act upon it. We must be a light in the darkness. We cannot afford to dilute our forces when the enemy marches on us as we speak. So we are a distraction to you? I am merely being rational. Liberating the Roselle would be extremely dangerous. We cannot take such a risk. Suppose we succeed. 
How do you propose we fend off the fury Hyzant will rain down upon us? Astros would pounce on us, sensing weakness at the undue burden we've taken upon ourselves. Precisely. We would be without allies and ripe for the taking. There is another way. And what, pray tell, would that be? We set out alongside the Roselle in search of Centralia. Centralia is a myth. The legends of my people are true. I care not one whit if they are. I will hear no talk of forsaking the Wolfort domain. Silence! I have heard enough to know where each of you stand. Do you all hold the courage of your own convictions? I do. Nothing I've heard here has swayed me. I feel the same. Very well. But know that a choice must be made. There can only be one way forward. Face the scales of conviction and prepare to make peace with the outcome. The vote we take today may well open a rift between us. Nevertheless, it must proceed, and I am prepared to accept its outcome. Place your faith in Frederica's vision. Stand with Roland, or assent to Benedict's strategy. Oh boy. That was just a whole bunch of Roland, Benedict, and Frederica just roasting each other's plans on an open flame. I mean, l let's be real. I see merit in all their dis in all of their feelings. Roland has a severe resentment towards Esfrost um, because of the factor of King Regna and his own brother's murder, and due to Gustadolf, and also because of the factor that he took one of the most valuable pieces of Glenbrook's territory, which was the Grand Norzellian Mines, and used it against them. Um, Frederica. I can see her plan of wanting to free the Roselle, but taking a mighty risk. I don't feel like that the book is a myth. I don't think that Centralia is a myth. I think that if she was true in her writing, uh, if, her, if Frederica's mother was true in her writing about the Roselle's history and about the proof that the salt crystal was found underneath the goddess's statue, it makes sense. That, um, that she would tell the truth on the whole book. It wouldn't make sense to say the truth about one aspect of the Roselle, but not all the aspects of the Roselle and their history. I do believe that Centralia exists. It's just a matter of finding it. Along with Benedict's decision, I actually see also, I see a lot of potential benefit from wanting to be with Esfrost. The only problem is, is that if we ally with them, even after all is said and done, we will have no allies. Esfrost just wants to take down Hyzant's tyranny and then move on their own accord after that. Gusadolf said it in his speech. So there's no doubt in my mind that no matter what we do in this situation, we're going to lose somebody out of this and we are going to lose allies. If we stand with Roland, I do see the value for the people. Yes, I, I do. I really, really do. I see all their, I see all their decisions, you know, all, all of, all of his ideas, they make sense. But if Hyzant spreads its wings over all of Norzelia, they're going to bring what they brought, what they are currently bringing to the Roselle, and probably apply it to every human being in Norzelia. I would not be shocked uh, to hear such a thing. So I think that it's safe to say that I will not be going with Roland's decision today. I think that it does seem like the easy route to give the many uh, such a thing, but Roland really does have a way of... I wouldn't say that this is him thinking for himself, but the fuel against Esfrost comes from a personal place. So even though he's saying that it's for the people, I think that deep down it's affecting his heart um, the deepest. Sarah Noah. We must give Hyzan the salt crystals, cow Esfrost, and unite all Norzelia in the name of the goddess. Else we will never know peace. The Roselle will continue to suffer, tis true, but this will end war as we know it, and countless more will live in peace as equals. I have made my decision. 
I will see this done not just for the people of Glenbrook, but for all Norzelia. Roland, you are the king. Surely cooperation with Hyzan need not mean the forfeit of the kingdom. I think not. That is where you're wrong, my friend. My time on the throne has shown me that the people need a force more powerful than any king to show them the way. There are many paths that lead us out of war, Roland. Cooperating with Esfrost, for instance. End the war by allying with the very Archduke who set this in motion? No. Cooperating with that tyrant ends nothing. His avarice has brought only pain and suffering to this land. Moreover, if anyone, uh, if anyone understood the torturous path I've taken to arrive at this decision, I thought it would be you, Sarah Noah. I mean, I'm not expecting to persuade him any other way. I just want to talk to these three first, because they all seem to be obviously very passionate about their paths. In the last decision, when we were at Whiteholm Castle, they all couldn't be swayed. But in this case, it's more heated between the three of them. They have, they have resentment not only towards other reasons. Like, for example, Frederica thinks that it's because of Benedict and Roland only looking after their own desires that has caused the Roselle suffering, you know? And, um, and obviously a piece of that is because just Hyzant has allowed their evil grip to be such a thing for so long. Benedict? My lord. We share a common goal with S. Frost at the moment. It is incumbent upon us to seize that opportunity and rid Norzelia of Hyzan for good. Indeed, the Soul Crystals make an alliance with S. Frost possible, but Roland would never assent to it. He feels the weight of the crown, underestimates his own abilities, and has allowed his hatred for Kusadolf to cloud his judgment. I sympathize, but those matters should, not, should have no bearing on the welfare of our house. Perhaps you are right, but then what of Frederica's vision? Do you concede that her plan concerns our house? Quite impossible. I concede nothing, for her strategy is out of the question. She asks us to forfeit all we have fought to build in this domain. How can I reasonably entertain such a proposition? And you'll brook no argument otherwise? None. We must decide. May I remind you that you are Lord of House Wolfort. Your duty is to your people above all else. I believe I've reached a decision. This moment requires a dispassionate mind. I pray you have one. Those last words uh, that this decision requires an impassionate mind actually really, really shakes me, guys. I mean, it makes me feel like that all the decisions that I've felt with my heart over all this time has just been... I have been making a lot of my decisions through the through how I feel. And maybe it hasn't always been the most optimal, maybe it hasn't always been the strongest and wisest, but nobody's no I mean the the decisions aren't going to be perfect no matter what route that you go through in this game and that's just the way that I see it. Frederica? Saranoa. Only we can free the Roselle and expose the lie that has kept them in bondage these many years. However, we must move quickly while their gaze is fixed upon the soul crystals. I believe we can succeed. I hear your plea, yet I cannot help but wonder if you wish to act with too much haste. But... I know not what I can do to prove to you that I have thought this through. I swear to you, this is no fit of peak. Benedict's strateg stratagem may also provide the chance to strike at Hyzant. Would that not be enough? It also prolongs this war, and thus the immense suffering of my people. Hmm. Even if we do prevail, you know as well as I that my brother is not a merciful man. He'll not spare so much as a thought for the weak. That much is true. The Roselle's plight would then be buried once more amid negotiations between the nations. Do you see? The time is now, and only we have the power to save them. Power we forfeit if we ascend to Roland's plan. I have decided. His is the one vision for our future that I cannot abide. Perhaps my concerns seem narrow when all Norzelia is at stake, but I know you can save my brothers and sisters. I beg you consider it. Wow, they, I mean, it's just filled with so much passion. That's like, 
it's it's so unreal in terms of how, like i understand you know when people have opinions just anybody in this world have opinions this deep they can't be swayed and it makes a it makes a perfect real time just real life uh relation but before we go talk to gila anna huet and erador i would like to do these other convictions to see what our villagers and our soldiers think of such a mess Lord Saranoa, I cannot help but feel that our greatest battle lies ahead, regardless of which path you choose. I... I know that this may not be the best time to say so, but... My wife gave birth to our first child not a few days ago. You are a father before a soldier. It is your duty to protect your own house before that of Wolfort. I will not force you to march with us. I ask only that you act according to your own convictions. We must pull together if we are to emerge victorious. I ask that you see us through this final battle. The only problem that I have is that Hyzant's army is massive. We know the risks involved of not having the ample amount of men to deal with their great army. Hyzant is at the focus of my mind right now, not Esfrost. Esfrost is probably just as burdened in army size as we are. Even though they have a lot of military might, they have been through shambles because of our invasion. They don't have Thallus, they don't have Erica, they don't have Avlora, they only have a lot of their- and they don't even have the men that were in the Norzellian mines for a lot of it. A lot of those guards that remain still uh, in the mines, they're gone. So clearly they've lost a lot of soldiers. So Esfrost would actually be an easier target to be able to defeat them. So that's why I see merit in going with Benedict's plan, just because Benedict wanting to side with Esfrost would be great, but I feel like it only fuels Gusadov's plan. Even if he were to side with us, and I think that he's persuade, uh, I think that the persuading would be easier said than done, but I think at the end of the day, it could probably be very successful. It's just, in terms of this guy's decisions, I also think that when it comes to your family, I think that family does come first. But I think that this also says that you're a soldier of your own house. You can fight for us as well as fight for your own family. It's it's just the right thing to say. If he wants to if he wants his newborn to have the best life that they can that they can live, he needs a family. He or she needs a family. Lord Saranoa, you would allow me to leave House Wolford at a time like this? But of course, before you do though, allow me to thank you for all you have done for our house. I wish you and your family every happiness. Thank you, Lord Saranoa. It is an honor to call you my lord. And it's an honor to have you serve me for the time that you did. May your family be safe and healthy. I almost brought a tear to my eye, to be honest. All right, now let's talk to the villager. To think King Roland, Lady Frederica, and Sir Benedict's convictions would diverge so greatly after all this time. Just between you and me, Lord Saranoa, what do you make of their plans? I believe that Benedict's plans to use Esfra's ideals of freedom to ascend to the top of all Norzelia. I think Roland intends to put his personal feelings aside to bring peace and equality to everyone. Frederica's wish is a human one. She desires to liberate those who have been cruelly oppressed. In terms of my heart for this decision, I would go with Frederica's plan. I do understand that Roland is putting his personal feelings aside. I get it, because he is thinking towards the people. But like I said before, I think that the root of the reason why he's thinking about the people is because of the recent past wars, as well as for the factor that he has that, you know, that very, uh, you know, that very shaky relationship with Gusadolf and Esfrost especially. Um, for Benedict, I think that if Esfrost were to take over and their ideal of freedom, their ideal of freedom is not great either. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm not saying that we're any better, but I'm just saying that in terms of Hyzant's treatment of how they would treat the people if they were to take over everything and Esfrost's ideal of freedom, they both sound very negative. I think that Frederica's wish is just to liberate the people who have been through so much 
so much so that it that it goes beyond the Salt Iron War. Hi. But in reality, humans usually only act in their own best interest, even if it means turning a blind eye to the suffering of others. Lady Frederica is a strong woman to stand up for what is right. I couldn't agree more. Ignoring their plight now would be shameful, especially knowing what we do of their what we do of their innocence. Everyone's choices are deeply rooted in their convictions. It makes me wonder if they'll be able to abide by the scale's decision. Lord Saranoa, it will fall to you to lead everyone down the right path. Of course. I wish for all of us to walk astride the same path as we always have. You know, reflecting on this time, I, I, I mean, yes, I do understand that Benedict says that this has to be made of a dispassionate mind. But I also see that Benedict's decision, Esfros has been seen as our enemy for a very long time, and they mean to come after us. They want to subdue Glenbrook. They already said such a thing. And if they want to subdue Glenbrook, they're going to do so after they take down Hyzant with their weapon, the Death Snell. But the only problem is, is that even though this sounds like a selfish plan, I gave the Roselle my word back when I told them that my intentions were pure. And I can't stray from that feeling of if I don't go with Frederica's plan, it's not just a matter that the end result could be potentially worse. I think that all these are going to have benefits and repercussions, okay? I see benefit and repercussions with all of these decisions. I don't think that any one of these three is perfect. It's just, I guess, finding the least of the three evils. That's what I believe. But this now becomes more than, if not, if not, if, if not any decision is going to be the best one, and nothing's going to bring Norzelia to a utopian society, then I'm going to go with my heart and say that I want to right my wrong from so long ago when I proved my loyalty to Hyzant. And this time around, we're going to make a statement. I want to free them, if at all possible. I want to see them happy again. I want to allow them to be able to say, you can walk anywhere you want without judgment, without fear, without any of that. I want them to have the life that their people used to live because they deserve to live as peacefully as the rest of us have during certain times. Let's begin with the amazing Gila. What do you need? Each path before us demands a great sacrifice in exchange for a great reward. I'm sure King Roland, Benedict, and Frederica have agonized over their pro proposals. Well... So now we must agonize over our own decisions. I wish to place my faith in Frederica's vision. I must say I'm surprised by your support for Frederica's vision. I've been by her side for years, but even I must admit it is rather hopeful, if I'm being charitable. Perhaps you see something I do not. Norzelia will be forever plagued by war. I wish to leave this place and create a new nation that knows only peace. My father has defended the Roselle all these years, and I intend to carry on his legacy. In truth, I agree with you. Her plan is imprudent and ill-advised. My whole thing is, is that I want to go back on the... Like, I mean, it's true that Norzelia will be forever plagued by war, but I think that Gila could say, well, Izan will just kind of follow you. They know the Roselle in history. They might have just destroyed every evidence of what happened in the Roselle's history because they don't want the truth to be revealed. But at the same time, um, I think as well, they won't stop at anything to make sure that the Roselle, even if they were to escape, they wouldn't just stop and give us the Roselle and just be like, yep, go ahead, take them, free of charge. I'm going to say that this is because that this is the honorable thing to do. I don't think so. A very noble sentiment, my lord. Albeit one that would be better served by protecting your own domain first and foremost. How would he feel if you saved the Roselle at the expense of the house? I have not to say in response. Perhaps I cannot match what father accomplished. What do you need? 
Tis nothing to do with you and everything to do with the circumstances in which you find yourself. You must see the world as it is, not as it once was. Well, that was a mistake. We're just gonna go with that. Anna, you're next. Lord Saranoa. Benedict and King Roland would march us to war. Frederica would see Hyzant hunt us for all eternity. Perhaps her vision is not so different. So it's come to this. Ally with a one-time opponent, or flee with the Roselle. However... Bold proposals all. Our tactics must be flawless. So you ascend to Frederica's vision for the future. War is coming. A war for all Norzelia. And you would forfeit your role in it? There is no better time to free the Roselle than now, while Esfras and Hyzant squabble over the salt crystals. This is how we end the war. Hyzant will crumble once we free the Roselle. If the Desnell and Elfric are unleashed on the battlefield, the casualties will eclipse any war that's come before. Ooh. This is tough. I mean, the Salt Crystals are the reason for this war. That much is very true. But Hyzan is also marching on our house right now. I don't think that this takes away our place in the war. I think that if we were to free the Roselle, I think that we're going to be caught. You know, in the, you know, and, but it just feels like the right thing to do because of the factor that if we are to eventually find peace, at least for somebody, I would like that to be a thing, but, and I know the risk involved, but we're going to be involved in war no matter what we do. I mean, it is very true that if Asfros and Hyzant go at it with each other, we may not have to be involved, and our army is not exactly in shape to be able to battle either one of them at this time. Asfros might be easier, but they have such strong military might. But I don't think this is how we end the war. If we free the Roselle, that's not going to make Hyzant crumble. That's just going to make Hyzant furious. <laughs> but it is going to be very true. If these weapons are unleashed, the Roselle will uh, the Roselle have a very high chance to perish in that act. Perhaps. The Death Snell and Elfric? The casualties would be immense. I had not considered that they might be unleashed sim simultaneously. The stakes warrant it, whether they are complete or not. We have already shown them the way by using Elfric in battle. Precisely. They will undoubtedly both be employed. Then? Unprecedented destruction is all that awaits us here. A war whose victor will rule over a pile of ash. And I will not be party to such devastation. I can think of far more productive uses for such power. I see your reasoning. I confess I thought only in terms of battles past. So much so that I forgot avoiding battle was ever an option. Okay. Awesome. Okay, so we might be able to get Anna off that decision uh, for Frederica. Huette has got to be so torn by this. I genuinely wonder how she feels about all this. However, here we stand after a bitter fight to reclaim the Crown City, only for the King to speak of forsaking it. As a subject, it is my duty to follow his decree, and yet I... My lord, the choice before us feels immense. I am utterly adrift. Pray, tell me how you see the proposals from King Roland and the others. I need your guidance. Um, all right. Let's see what Huette thinks about this. You've taken Frederica's side in all this. What fascination did the Roselle hold for you, my lord? Frederica has shown me a future in which, in which no one is beholden to salt, or indeed to any nation. There is no better time to free the Roselle than now, while Esfras and Hyzant squabble over the salt crystals. Um... Well, it is very true that that this is a future where everyone wouldn't have a nation to really to, to fall to, I guess. Um, it is true that those two will be squabbling, but 
I don't know. These two, I mean, this decision was the same one that came up with Anna. So it makes me think maybe this one is the correct one to say to Huet, but it wasn't the right one to say to Anna. Or if this is like the wrong one in general. But, I mean, but this all does come down over the salt crystals because Hyzan is marching on the mines and Esfrost wants to meet them so they can end the, so they can attempt to end their tyranny. But I can't help but feel like that a world that's that no one is beholden to salt or to any nation sounds like the best route to peace. I mean, that's just the way I see it. So if the choice is to ally with the duchy, who prize might over all else, or submit to the holy state who prey upon the weak. But you mean to suggest we simply do neither? Precisely. She has shown me the Roselle and legends are true. That means there is hope for all of us. A hope I would bet my life upon. So long as we sit between two nations who have no compassion for the weak, I fear we will never know peace. Furthermore, I take your point. War will spread and perhaps only end when the Death Snell and Aelfric are unleashed upon the continent. So you see why I would choose to flee with the weak, rather than be party to the atrocities of the powerful? It will be a flight amid a hail of arrows and steel, but so righteous and noble that I would be proud to give my life for it. You've stated your case well, my lord. Aw, oh, thank you, Huet. Oh, such a wholesome response. Thank you, Huet. All right, our final uh, person to attempt to persuade here is Arador. Hi, lad. Our sweat and bloods fed this land, built it into a proper domain. I see no reason why we should surrender it all to Hyzant. And Lady Frederica, while I sympathize, asks that we risk everything for the sake of the Roselle. Here's what I think. Benedict's got the right of it, I reckon. But even that doesn't quite quiet the nagging feeling I get every time I think about our options. I like how everyone else can be very... Uh, not easily persuaded. You still have to be able to pick the right one. But I like how they're easy to persuade in any direction because everyone is just so confused about what the best route is. It makes sense, though. The, the way I see it, Benedict's solution is the only way out of this. Though, to be honest, none of them are sound enough to help me sleep at night. How could you possibly support Lady Frederica's vision? Have you gone mad? The war will never end so long as we hold the salt crystals. We must relinquish them and break the cycle of violence. I wish to carry on, nay, surpass my father's legacy of protecting the Roselle. I need you with me, Eridor. It is true that currently we are holding the salt crystals and everybody wants them back. But I don't know if that will break the cycle of violence. I feel like that, I mean, relinquishing them is not going to end the violence. It might end the Roselle's suffering, but I don't know if it would break the cycle of violence, per se. That's tough. But, if, I mean, my father's legacy of protecting the Roselle, he's, he is from House Wolfort. I feel like, in general, that would be very big for Aragorn to be able to see, but he might see that as saying, like, oh, well, that's just too much. I don't know. This is tough. But we do need his shield. We do need him. But I don't think that will break the cycle of violence. I don't believe it will. Because this is between Esfros and Hyzant, who will literally not stop until every single person on either side is gone. So, please, Eridor, please join me, please. Outdo your own father? Mm. Meaning what exactly? Do more for the Roselle than he did? I know things aren't what they were during the Soul Iron War, but is it not House Wolford's duty to come to the aid of those in need? Are we not to fight are we not to fight injustice and tyranny wheresoever it may be? You dare invoke Lord Simon's own words. I cannot do this alone, Arador. The risk is too great. 
Only if all of House Wolfort unites as one will we have a chance to succeed. I hear you, lad. And so... Just... Give me a moment to sit with what you've said. Everyone is on very high emotion right now. But I know that a lot of this stems from my heart. But I just, I can't go beyond the words that Sarah Noah told to the Roselle. That our intentions are pure to put you in the source. We will be back to rescue you. And that is my... That was Sarah Noah's honorable wish to them to say, because they literally said, we will hope for your return to save us because you are all that can save us. And your house is the only way that we can get past this torture that we that us and our previous generations have been through. All right, let us turn to the scales. Let's see how many people I managed to persuade. I'm hoping it's enough. It is time to cast our votes. The opinions before us are many. Roland's, Frederica's, Benedict's. Which to choose? Approach the scales of conviction with your token at the ready. wrong, but... My apologies, Lord Saranella, but I must place my token elsewhere. You have my vote. I put my faith in you, Lord Saranella. I have faith in you. I've decided that this is what's best for both King Roland and us all. I'm with you. My mind's all made up. You've got my vote, lad. Scales of conviction will illuminate the path we've chosen. We did it. We didn't get everybody, but we got enough people to place our faith in Frederica's vision. Let's hope that we can bring the Roselle away from their suffering. The way forward is decided. Frederica's dream is worth realizing. We will free the Roselle from the source. 